Steve Young will always be known as one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. His success has been measured by the many records he set throughout his career, his MVP awards, his Super Bowl trophy, and Hall of Fame induction. But what many people don't know is that Steve Young attributes much of his success to the man who really taught him to be great, to never give up, to work hard with absolute determination. And that man, he'll tell you, is his father Grit. My dad, he always said, whatever game, whatever sport you want to play, you go play it, but you can't quit. He was the tough guy. Well, there's no question that he expected certain things. Was it something that you were afraid of? No. But did you respect it? Yeah. Because he lived it. You could see that he lived it. And then when he asked you to do it, it was that much more meaningful. Steve and my husband, Grit, are so much alike with their determination and their integrity and their uh, purpose in life. When it comes down to that determination and that grit, you know, that you, it, it's the same. I would look uh, sometimes when Steve was absolutely determined and I would see that bit of the helmet that you could see the eyes and I thought, is grit out there or is that really Steve? It's amazing that, that from a child somebody saw that in my dad and called him grit because it just it really fits him. He's, he's all about hard work and, and being tough and you know not whining. Obviously early on he must have had some tough guy uh, characteristics because <laughs> that's the only way you get a nickname like, like grit. You know, I've always loved that nickname. I always wish that was my nickname. You know, I could have been something with that nickname. My proper name is Legrand and that's a very difficult name for most people to deal with and uh, so kids were going to call me something besides that. Grit grew up in the post-war 1950s in Provo, Utah, where he learned to work hard to help support his family during difficult times. If I got anything at all, if I wanted a new mitt or something, I had to earn it. I had to go out and get So I learned to work pretty early in my life. And high school came, and that's when uh, I really took an interest in sports. And ended up lettering in four different sports and wanted to go on. And uh, so I walked on at uh, BYU as a freshman, and I worked as hard as I could and, uh, and made the team. I had the record for the most yards running in the, uh, in the season. It was something like 500 yards, and Steve looked at me and he says, Pops, we did that in a game. I mean, look what he did. He led the whack in total yardage with 480 yards in the season. I mean, I, I, it's pretty remarkable. You know, we did that in a quarter. Grit was determined to teach his kids the importance of work to achieve anything worthwhile in life. My goal with them was to, uh, to teach them discipline and to teach them to do things hard, like I learned it the hard way. I mean, you have to learn those things. Those things don't just happen. And uh, I knew that because I had to learn it that way. It was always important to me to, to try to teach them to, to do things that are hard and finish it. And I think we all got that sense of work that if you really wanted to get something done if you really want to if you really want something it's going to be some work and don't be afraid of that go get it done looking back growing up i always knew that my dad cared about me he, i knew that he was that he uh, uh, cared about what i was doing and and that what i did was very very important i think it was more than anything just kind of being with us he was always willing to be out there and uh, with us, actively doing things with us, uh, playing ball with us. And wanting them to be as good of athletes as they could be, we always went out and threw a ball or did something together. So I was with them a lot and tried to be with them, and that, that's the way you show love, in my opinion. Grit knew that difficult times would lie ahead for his kids, so he taught them to fight through adversity, no matter how hard the battle may be. I think I look back on, uh, especially Little League Baseball, Particularly, I, got, I remember when 13 years old, I was in an unfortunate situation where I, I didn't get a hit the whole year, and it just got more and more embarrassing through the summer. I remember game after game, just, I couldn't get a hit, I couldn't get a hit. But my dad, you know, he said, look, if you want, 
you want to fix it, let's, you know, we got to work at it. But I remember it being kind of really cold and miserable and rainy and sleet and snow and he'd be pitching the ball and I'd be hitting him and I got better and it never happened like that again. You know, in fact, that, people always ask me some of the tough experiences in my sporty career. That was one of them and, you know, through that year he, he got me over it. But it wasn't like uh, technical. He wasn't like, you need to hold your bat, you need to watch your, you know, it was more, look, we're just going to, it was more repetition, we're just going to work at this and we're going to get better at it. And, uh, and I just sensed that for me, if I didn't quit and I played hard and behaved in, a, you know, in an honorable way, that it was all going to be fine. Coming up, the amazing story of Steve Young's football career and how his father, Grit, helped mold Steve into greatness. As a young kid, I had trouble leaving the house. Grit and I had no idea that there was such a thing as separation anxiety when Steve was growing up. We wished that we had 